Okay, today we're going to be taking a look at iSpring's amazing content library. It has everything from characters, templates, backgrounds, icons, and objects for you to use to enhance your courses. First, make sure you're on the iSpring Suite tab. Then go ahead and move over to the Content Library section of the menu bar. Here you can find all of the content I already mentioned. Let's begin by selecting characters. Here you can select your character options, but you'll notice that some characters are locked. The full library will be available after you purchase a subscription to iSpring and then log in. I'm going to head back to PowerPoint in my main slide so we can take a look at the slide templates options. Okay, here they are. What you can do with these templates is to build a whole course from scratch. All you have to do is replace the text on the slide with your own and you can also replace the image and change the color scheme if you want. There are tons of options for different parts of the course and for information about your company. You also have all kinds of design themes to choose from. Another kind of template you can choose from is a scenario. This is a dialogue that can simulate a workplace situation. You can replace all characters and backgrounds to make these scenarios fit your workplace. Let's choose this scenario to add to our PowerPoint. If I select the character, I can move or delete it. Now I'm going to add a different character to take her place. Here you can find over 30,000 characters to choose from, and you can narrow down what you're looking for by selecting the descriptions on the left. There are tons of different descriptors like clothing, age, action, and more. Now I'm going to select a new character. Laura looks good to me. I like this image of her standing and smiling. Then I will select Insert. Now that I have Laura on the slide, I can crop her legs out of the shot and then adjust size to fit the scene. Then I will right click and send her back one layer so she isn't covering up the text. Now I want to show you some background options. And again, you have a whole bunch of background images to choose from. Whatever industry your training is targeted for, you'll be sure to find the right setting here. Restaurants, education, living spaces, travel, and more can be found in this library. And don't forget that you can swap out any backgrounds in any of the templates I showed you earlier, making customizing your own tailored course amazingly quick and easy. Okay, now let's check out the objects library. Here you have a bunch of photorealistic images that you can use to spruce up your course. You can add little notes on a notepad or you can put screenshots of your software or website on a smartphone. The sky's the limit. Let's add this phone to our slide. Then we can resize and place it. Let's take a look at the icons next. Again, it's easy to find what you're looking for by narrowing down your search. As you can see, there's a wide selection of icons and controls that you can use to give your course a more polished look and add easy navigation. Plus, you have other cool stuff like symbols, items, and markers. That pretty much covers the basics of how to use your content library. You can just pick what you need, mix and match, and make small adjustments to make it into exactly what you need. Try it out! Thank you.